Hello again, welcome to the Real Ale Guy. Another day, another beer. Um, continuing on from earlier where we did the double drop, Marson's double drop. Um, on the same theme, we got Breaks, the Breaks Beer Bitter, 3.4% in the volume. It's been made since 1779. There you go. And it's again a double dropped bitter. Point bottle, nice to look at. Got the, the Briggs beer B on the top. Um, now Briggs beer, very, very old company, 1779, like they say. They do another few beers, which is Briggs beer Oxford Gold. Um, I've got that to review at a later date. And a Briggs beer Triple, and it's a bottle conditioned ale. So it's Briggs beer Triple. It's a bottle conditioned, um, that means it's, it's having this ferment, fermentation process, should I say. That goes on in the bottle after it's done the first one in the in the cask. It's fantastic, fantastic. Okay, um, this particular brew has got Fuggles and Styrians, and it's a pale crystal and chocolate. That's with the malts, that's the taste. Um, very familiar to Winchwood's Hobgoblin. Now I say that because um, Briggs Beer Bitter from 1779, they went, they went for about 100, 100 years or so and then they, they, they got sold on to various different companies and they took all of their um, brewing equipment out of, out of Oxfordshire where they were first brewed. They took it all away to another brewery, um, Marston's I believe, and then after that they got bought back by Winchwood Breweries, which make the Hobgoblin. Um, okay, I'll open the beer. I've got quite a lot to say about this Brax beer. Um, quite a nice beer. Let's get it open. There you go. Poured it out into this. I've got this large glass. I've been using it a lot lately. It gives, on the video, it, it gives a, a good reflection of what's going on in the glass with the beer. Nice head again. Dark, quite a dark ale, golden in colour um, to smell. Yeah, you can definitely smell the hops coming through. Like they say, it's Fuggles and Stillians. Let's give it a taste. <sighs> Stoner Crows. Stoner Crows, that is absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. It's quite bitter. Um, the reason it's bitter um, to taste, it's not a bad bitter taste, it's a very, very nice bitter taste. Um, it's sweet, you can definitely taste the chocolate in there. Um, it's sweet and it's bitter all at the same time. That's the fascinating thing with real ale. Um, the two go together very well. Um, the double drop process, pardon me, makes it um, bitterer to taste. And then you've got the chocolate uh, bits of taste to come through. Very, very nice. Um, Food-wise, if you want to have a meal with this, I've been on, I've looked around and um, I'm trying to match a, a, a food now to go with the beer that I'm doing. And it says it's good with um, British Classic, which is fish and chips, or maybe even a plowman's lunch. I go along with that. I could easily see myself sitting down, pint of Briggs beer, double drop. Um, Breaks me a bit bitter, easily with some fish and chips, or maybe even a plumber's lunch, or maybe even a steak. It, it's entirely up to yourself. Um, if you go on Breakspear's website, which is www.breakspear/beers.co.uk, um, they got a very good video on the double drop fermentation process, um, and they got a video of their history. It's one of the few breweries, the, the websites, which actually got a video of their history and. 
the brewery and, and actually the process which goes into making this double drop beer. So check the website out www.breaksbeer.co.uk or if you want to order um, some bits and pieces there's a telephone number which is 01993 890 800. Now the reason I'm saying that is because they've got t-shirts, golf sets, they've got pint glasses but there's a beautiful, I've been on the website, they've got a beautiful Breakspear triple glass and it, it comes down and it shapes itself off at the bottom. It's really worth looking at. Um, it's, it's, I think it's five ninety nine to order British pounds, um, but it's very very nice. As soon as you see the glass, I'm sure you want to buy buy one. Order it from the internet. Okay. Um, Very good, but it's so enjoyable this pint, so enjoyable. I have had it in the past. Um, it's it's three point four percent in the volume, so it's quite a mild drink. Um, I mean, if if you didn't want to get too, how do we say, it, oiled, if you like, you could have six of these, three point four percent. It's not gonna. Some of these ales can really embarrass you. If you it, there's some real strong ones out there, um, all of a sudden it kicks in and you get some which is seven, six and a half percent, seven percent. They're really strong, but this three point five percent, five or six of these goes down very well. Um, I'm going to give this out of ten another taste. So enjoyable, so enjoyable. I'm gonna give this nine. I gotta give this a nine out of ten. Really nice, really nice. So that's um, Briggs Beer Brewery, owned by Witchwood, which make Hobgoblin, Goliath, um, Circle Master, and they got a couple of other beers. Um, but the Briggs Beer, they do the double dropped Briggs Beer Bitter, and Briggs Beer Oxford Gold, and the Briggs Beer Triple. That's a um, bottle condition ale that's quite strong, a 7.5%. Um, you couldn't, I don't think you, you know, unless you're a very experienced drinker, um, it's one of them drinks where you could probably just fit, you know, two or three in rather than five or six of these nice mild um, bitters here, which I'm reviewing today. Okay, um, thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. Um, tune in for more real ales in the future. If you're a microbrewery or a brewery of that kind who would like me to do a review on real ale, you can email me at realaleguide at googlemail.com. Um, I've got my address on there and everything else. Just to send me a beer, I'll do a review. I've done a couple in the past, um, notably Old Speckled Hen. It's one of my favourites. Okay, um, thanks for watching the real ale guide. See you soon. Goodbye.